You are listening to the Bright Life Podcast, all about ways to stay inspired, chase your dreams, and find more gratitude in the highs and lows of the journey. I'm your host, Jessica Johnson. I'm a business owner, a part-time digital nomad, a self-growth junkie, a believer in other big-hearted women, and am all about sharing tips, tricks, lessons learned, and encouragement so we can all live our biggest, brightest lives. You ready? Let's do this. Hi, friend. Welcome to today's episode. Today, let's continue our conversation from last week, which was all about how to reframe your perspective around finding your passion or purpose and remove some of the pressure that you probably feel around that, that culturally we're all (laughs) given throughout our lives, and instead just lean into it as something that can be joyful and fun and really enrich your life versus adding this pressure to it that you have to find this one thing in order to succeed. I really don't believe that's the case. I think you can have a life full of all kinds of juicy chapters and a rich life full of lots of passions, and so that episode is all about that. Go ahead and listen if you haven't yet, but today I want to continue the conversation and share some more practical ways that I have really used and loved to dream up this new vision or passion or dream in your life. And I think it's timely because we're talking about the new year, um, and so there's a lot of just curiosity around that and passion around really using this time of the year to pause and to think about what do you really want in the new year? Are you on this trajectory that you love? Is there anything else that you want to bring in? And again, it doesn't have to be this massive overhaul or thing that adds a ton of pressure to your life. It can just be something fun that you do to really start to dream up that next vision and start to bring in more of what you do want in the new year. So these are all practices that I routinely use, whether it's every year, whether it's around my birthday, whether it's when I feel like I'm just kind of in a funk and want to get clear again and reconnect to what I want to create in my life. So I hope that they really serve you as well. All right. So the first exercise that I want to share is one that I first was introduced to years ago when I had no idea what my passion was and what I wanted to do with my life. I was so confused about this that I literally paid my own money to go to a retreat that talked about how to find your passion and um, be able to like use it and integrate it in your life. And one of the exercises that they had us do is to think about your perfect day. So we all got into this circle in the hills of California and we sat down and we closed our eyes and the leader walked us through this meditation that I actually think has has been really effective for me the rest of my life about thinking about the details of our perfect day. So from start to finish, when you wake up, bringing yourself into the little moments Like letting your vision and your imagination really guide you. Because one of the things that I found in this exercise is I started to imagine things that weren't even close to being a part of my life right now. I saw myself going throughout the day, working on different things in the sense that I sensed I wasn't really in a corporate nine to five as I was at the time. I But I had this vision of just working on different things and moving throughout my day and I could sense that I was somehow kind of running my own business. And at that time, I had no idea for a business. I didn't even know I wanted to be a business owner. Entrepreneurship wasn't really this popular thing like it's become, especially in the last few years. So I want to just give that as a caveat as you go through this exercise that you can really let your imagination run wild. You don't have to like have everything make sense. You don't have to know exactly where certain visuals are coming from or certain sparks of inspiration. So kind of letting yourself just really dream like a child and make believe in this exercise, I think can really serve you because you never know what your intuition is guiding you towards. Like look at my life now where I am my own boss and I do have total control over my day and my schedule and my location. um, And I get to help others create the same through my programs, but I did not even see that years ago. So just kind of putting that out there um, as you go through this to just let your imagination run wild. 
And then the other important part of it is to really dream in detail. So for example, when you close your eyes and you imagine waking up in your perfect day, where are you? What kind of home are you in? Are you in a condo? Are you in a house in the country? Are you in a city sky rise? Who's with you when you wake up? Is it a partner? Is it children running into your bed to greet you? Are you single, enjoying your life as a single person? What does that perfect morning look like? Do you wake up first thing and go and make your perfect coffee? And if so, what does your kitchen look like? And what kind of coffee are you making? Is it basic? Is it fancy? Where? What are you wearing when you wake up? What are your sheets like? I mean, that level of detail and really bringing yourself in because you never know what your intuition has in store for you and knows can be part of your future. And it will just help you dream again and kind of open up those floodgates for envisioning something new for yourself. So really imagine kind of every single step that you can, what you do first in the day, what your work looks like, where you're working, what kind of work you're doing, how you feel when you're doing it. You know, are you going into an office or are you doing your own thing? Are you working in a big group setting or are you more independent? You know, do you drive in? Do you train in? Do you work from home? Um, do you work from Bali? <laughs> do you work from where you currently are? Or are you traveling a lot for your corporation? So things like that can really help you start to envision what your dream day looks like. And it's okay, again, if it's nothing like what your day-to-day -day is like now, but having this picture, you will be surprised how your life and brain start to pay attention to opportunities that will bring you closer to this vision. If you don't have this vision, it's really hard for your brain to even be able to sound off the alarms when it senses something that could move you closer. But if you have it, it will guide you in the back of your mind towards those conversations and opportunities and people in the world that can help you get closer. So that's the first exercise that I love. And you can do this as something where maybe you sit down for 15 minutes and you close your eyes and you envision kind of every detail from morning till night, or you can do it as a journal exercise. That's another thing that I love to do is just let your hand free write, you know, or open up a Google Doc or Word Doc on your computer and do it that way so that you can type really, really fast. Kind of remove whatever constraints you put around doing this correctly and just lean into the one that feels the best to you. All right. And so that's one that I had never heard of years ago, but really went through it in detail and was surprised how much it has actually guided and reflected the life that I have years later. So I hope it does the same for you. A second one that I love is called a mind movie. And I learned this from Dr. Joe Dispenza, one of my all time favorite authors and teachers who has changed my life in so many ways in terms of manifesting and bringing dreams to life um, and really believing in your own power in that regard. But he teaches um, this process that really kind of takes a vision board and brings it to life in an even more dynamic way. So you prob have probably heard of vision boards where you go and you collect a bunch of images or words or cutouts that reflect your dream life. You know, maybe you do it on Pinterest and you make a Pinterest board. Maybe you make it the desktop of your computer or the wallpaper of your phone. And it's just this collection of images that really reflects this life that you want to create. And what he recommends doing and what I just spent yesterday doing, <laughs> so all of these are things I actually practice and that's why I really wanna share them with you because I, I truly believe they work, um, is he will take images and you put them to music. So you open up iMovie on your computer or some kind of basic editing software. Um, you can probably find an app these days that will help you do it on your phone. Um, even Reels probably, you know, on Instagram has 
software or templates you can use to do this. But basically, I collected a set of images that reflect my goals, my dreams, even the far-fetched ones. And some of them, I put words on them. Like, I have this beautiful sea view home, which is what I really want to have one day. Um, you know, or I have a best-selling book, which is another thing that I want to create one day. Um, and so things like that, that you put these images one after the other, and then you just add your favorite song or a song that really inspires you over it. And what you do then is you just watch this every day. What happens when you add the combination of images and music is it really pulls you into the emotion of experiencing that dream or that goal come to life. And being in that energy and feeling that to start your day can do so much to shift you into a positive state, number one. And then number two, it keeps it top of mind. So there's something about just being a match, right? Where like attracts like in the world. And so if you are living from a place of feeling those emotions and you are going through the world feeling as if your dream is within reach, is possible, is coming to you, that does so much subconsciously to actually bring it to you. It's kind of like the dream day exercise where Yes, you will have to take the practical action to make your dreams come true, but with that clarity every morning of watching your mind movie and knowing what your ultimate dreams are, I don't know how to describe it except in my own life I've experienced this beautiful combination of you dream the dream and you get really clear on what it is, you take the actions that you see in front of you and that you can take, and then you also allow a little bit of room for magic. Because life has a way of introducing those people, those conversations, those opportunities. And if you act on them, if you take the action, if you put yourself out there, if you do the things that you're scared to do and you move from that place of being who you want to be in the world, things come together. I, you know, there's, I think science has so much more to catch up on terms of how that works. And there's a whole field of research around quantum physics and what's really going on energetically and frequency wise. I'm not going to get into that in this episode, but it's a really, really powerful exercise. I've seen it in my own life and I have friends that I admire who have called in massive sums of money in their business, who have made a massive difference, who've called in speaking engagements and opportunities and deals that don't make sense and that the growth doesn't make sense, but because they've used this practice and they've hyper-focused on their dreams, even the unrealistic ones, they've somehow come to life. And so just want to share this as one to kind of take that vision board that we all have heard about to the next level and spend a few minutes at the start of your day, really before anything else, feeling into your dream and getting those emotions anchored into your being. So you know that dream when it comes and you are familiar with it. So you don't self-sabotage. And I think it's just a really beautiful and powerful practice. And I'm excited for 2023. I've really made it a goal to make sure that I'm incorporating that every day um, and prioritizing that because I've got this beautiful updated mind movie. Um, and the most fun part too is to see the dreams come to life and then create that new version of it. So I've had for years now these mind movies and it's really fun to see how ones that I had a few years ago, so many of those dreams have been realized. And so now my new mind movies reflect different dreams and different goals. Um, but I love to look back and see the evolution of those and all the dreams that felt unrealistic then and just how they've had a way of coming true. And I know how they've had a way of coming true. It's been a lot of hard work. It's been a lot of um, returning to the belief that they can and working through fears and reframing my beliefs and putting myself in rooms where people believe it's possible and um, stretch me and take my dreams higher. So it's not like this is just this magic formula of, you know, oh, make these pretty images and then poof, they come to life. It's both, you know, it's the belief and it's the action. But definitely give it a shot if you haven't. And I think this could really support you and surprise you in making your dreams come to life as well. So that's the second one. So the first one is really envisioning your perfect day and letting your imagination run wild. The second one is to take your vision board to the next level and make a mind movie that you watch you know, every morning or as often as you can. And then the third one that I have done since I was 
probably like 10 years old, honestly, is just doing a bulleted list for each section of my life. So I was kind of a funny little kid where I really liked school, I liked learning, I was always reading self-development books even from a young age, I was just fascinated by that. And so I always had this vision every year that I, what I wanted to create even since I was little. And so again, this is tested and tried and true and something that I really believe in and have used for decades now. Um, but it, what I like to do, it just helps me organize it in my brain is to go into each section of my life that you know I, I want to prioritize so maybe it's health it's relationships um, it could be you know business or your career um, it could be spirituality or your you know religion it could be family um, it could be let's see what else you know finances um, like passions hobbies things like that like buckets for kind of all the core areas of your life that make up the whole picture. And then underneath it, I just bullet out what I want for that area. So, you know, for something like relationships, um, if when I was single, it could have been, you know, like going on a certain amount of dates or finding like my true love that year um, or being in a really healthy, communicative, um, loving, fun relationship things like that. If it was my health, it could be, um, you know, getting into the best shape of my life. Um, it could be what, it, what the foods I'm eating look like, how much I'm moving and working out. And you're kind of just painting that picture of what your life looks like if you could choose anything. Um, and the reason I use bulleting is because I think it's just another framework for being able to let your imagination run wild, put things at a glance. And by the end of it, you kind of have this feel for like every section of your life. You know, what does it look like in your ideal? And what's really helpful here is to include specifics. So, you know, if you have a health goal, quantify it. Like instead of saying something really generic, like, um, you know, I, whatever, lose pounds, be like, what's the number? If you even want to, um, maybe it's gaining muscle, you know, things like that. You can have a mix. So for me, like, I know I want to feel healthy and energetic and vibrant. I know I want to feel like I'm working out a few days a week, like I'm walking most days, like I'm eating nourishing, like vibrant meals full of lots of vegetables and fruits and colorful foods. Things like that really paint the picture for me of what I want that area of my life to look like. And then it helps me create steps to get there. So I can start to add in actual goals and habits around if I know I want to be eating healthy meals, what does that look like? Is it eating, you know, vegetables with most meals? Um, is it, you know, going to the gym to do strength training four times a week? Is it walking 10,000 steps a day? And that actually gets into the tangible steps where you don't have to do it all at once, but maybe each month you choose one habit to really cement out of your entire list and picture, and that moves you forward. So, so many people try and, and myself included, try and change everything all at once. We all know where that gets us. It gets us right back to where we started after a few weeks because we're exhausted trying to do, change so much. So really just changing one thing um, each month and over the course of a year, you'll have integrated 12 habits that get you closer to where you want to be. And that's massive. So if you think about, let's say you have six buckets or areas of your life, like the relationships, health, family, friendships, that kind of thing, massively changing two things within each of those areas is really huge. You know, we've been talking about the health example. If you implemented strength training four times a week and walking 10,000 steps a day by the end of the year, that's massive. That will have a huge impact, especially when you pair it with all the other positive habits that you are integrating in all the other areas of your life. So that's just something that I've used to really get a bird's eye view of what I want to create in, from a whole life perspective and the steps that I might need to take to get there. Now, I totally recognize that that can feel overwhelming to some people. The list building thing may not be yours. You know, you'll find the exercises and practices that resonate to you and the ones that feel like no way that is not my personality. So these aren't necessarily things that will work for everyone, but it's just giving you a few ideas and entry points to design and play and come up with whatever your dream life looks like and really get started in the new year implementing it. So again, these practices include 
designing your perfect day, either meditating or free writing on that, um, developing a mind movie vision board type of really dynamic, beautiful visions to songs, like images to songs, um, and watching that you know each day. And then the third one is more of just a list building, like write down kind of the buckets of your life and what you want them to look like. And that can just organize it really well for you. Another important thing to remember is even if everything isn't shifted this year, even if you get really clear on these things and don't feel like you've made much progress by the end of the year, just having the vision will guide you. It will get easier over time to implement a little step here, a little thing there. Subconsciously, like I mentioned, I truly believe that your brain will start watching for opportunities that align with the vision that you've created. And you will be surprised year by year how you move closer to that dream life. You do have to take action. You do have to do the things that feel scary, that come into your awareness that you know are right for you, um, that move you to that future version that you want to be. But you will also just be surprised about the magic that comes into play. And for me, you know, when I had that vision of my perfect day, it took me years to actually be living it and to look back and be like, whoa, I I was right. I didn't even know that I wanted those things. And look, here they are. And it wasn't even like I, you know, tangibly practiced each one intentionally, but I just allowed myself to move closer and closer and closer. And that's kind of what it's all about. Like that's the journey we're on here is enjoying the process, right? Like coming up with whatever your biggest, brightest version of your life can be and continually leaning into a life that makes you feel that and makes you feel excited and passionate and inspired and fulfilled. So I hope that this serves you. Um, In the next few weeks, I will be opening up my program called Content Business Blueprint, which takes a group of amazing people through eight weeks of how to build their very own freelance writing business, um, write for businesses online so that they can have location freedom and schedule freedom and creative fulfillment and financial independence um, and overflow. It's everything that I've learned and practiced in building my own content writing business um, and agency. And so I love to just be able to share this with more women and give them more independence and fulfillment and freedom in their life. So if you have been looking for a change in your career or a side hustle or something that really opens up a lot more opportunity for you financially, creatively, um, or even in where you work and how you run your day so you aren't beholden to any certain you know workplace or employer then definitely check it out or send me a dm on instagram at hi jessica johnson um i will share some links in the show notes but would love to support you in the new year whether it is through this podcast or in a deeper container um, like that program so Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to hear what dreams you uncover and dream up for the new year. I believe in you. I'm so grateful to have you in this community. um, And I hope this really sparks some ideas and ways that support you. Have a great day. If this episode resonated with you, I have two things you are going to love. One is a Bright Life workbook full of practices you can use to get clear on what your version of your brightest life looks like and fearlessly move towards it every day. And another is a copywriter starter kit full of beginning steps to create a copywriting business that gives you the freedom to travel the world working from anywhere, to replace a corporate salary as your own boss, and to do creative work that lights you up every day. It's lessons I've learned in creating my own content business, and I'm excited to share it with you if you're curious about doing the same. I will link these in the show notes. I hope these serve you. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you back here next week as we all pursue our biggest, brightest lives together.